Hi, my name is Dr. Jim, and today we are very honored. We have a special guest. His name, His Holiness Sakya Trizin. He's one of the most important spiritual masters of our time, second only to His Holiness Dalai Lama in spiritual protocol related to Tibetan Buddhism. He's 41st in a lineage of unbroken masters that began in 1073. The Vikram Ashali Foundation, in conjunction with Paldin Sakya Centers, have made arrangements for him to be here this Independence Day, 4th of July weekend, here in New York City. Welcome, Your Holiness. Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to share your wisdom on Independence Day weekend here in New York City. I will ask you 10 questions that relate to American life. No, Violence is all around the globe, including Tibet and in America. This fact has not changed for thousands of years. What hopes do you have of making the world a more peaceful place, considering efforts by people such as His Holiness the Dalai Lama, Gandhi, Martin Luther King? And are we at the end of times for this planet Earth as we know it? Um, generally, you know, I'm always uh, quite optimistic. And it is true that the world faces many problems and violence uh, everywhere, but uh, we should not uh, give up. And there's always hope. <coughs> we may not be uh, totally, with total, uh, we cannot do, but I think if we make efforts, that we could make uh, some benefit. So therefore, I think it is always uh, important to teach and uh, to provocate the peace and harmony, uh, because the peace and the harmony could not come from elsewhere. It have to come from the people's mind. So the mind have to be changed. and. The best way to change the mind is uh, uh, through the teachings. And as now I can see so many people are interested in teachings, uh, so it's a very hopeful uh, and encouraging sign so that it can certainly uh, contribute a lot. Thank you very much. My next question. How can Americans be shown that the effects of karma really do exist and that humans do reincarnate based upon what they do in this lifetime as well as past lifetimes? But actually, even, even in our day-to-day -day life, it is quite uh, uh, visible. I mean, the person who is uh, kind, and loving, tolerant, Everybody loves them, isn't it? Uh, such as like the Mahatma Gandhi, who is uh, actually kind of in a, in a very weak kind of person in, in appearance, but his heart <coughs> is so, so good, so powerful, that he managed to win the hearts of the, the whole world. So therefore, this shows that there is a cause and effect if you do, and whereas the people who are very uh, violent and cruel, nobody loves them. Even they, uh, even they are defeated, and everybody thinks it's a good thing. So the, from there, it shows the cause and effect. And then the reincarnation is concerned that we have the body and mind, and the body will be disposed in one way or another, but the mind is something that is invisible. It could not be uh, disposed. So where the mind comes from, it has to come from the same kind of mind. It could not be uh, out of space. It could not, so it have to, so therefore, it has to come its own same kind of life. So therefore, we could establish that there is a previous life. If there is a previous life, then we could also establish the future lives, because when we uh, end this life, our physical body will be exposed in one way or another, but the mind will continue. 
So it goes to another body and starts the next life. Thank you very much. Now, I understand as a father, husband, grandfather, as well as a very highly realized Buddhist master, a Buddha, you have unique experiences. What advice do you offer American parents? 50% of children live with only one parent, usually the mother, and boys are dropping out of high school at an alarming rate. I think it's uh, very important uh, to, to bring up the children with uh, love and compassion tolerance uh, because uh, when, when there's a violent kind of uh, atmosphere when they are uh, young, I think it is affects them. So therefore, in everywhere, not only the parents, but the teachers, doctors, uh, lawyers, everybody I think must uh, have the love and compassion. And with that, they can have much better the patients and clients, students and children, uh, much healthier life in, in the uh, future. Bad relationships are one of the biggest problems in America. 50% or more of marriages end in divorce. What's your advice? I think the uh, most important thing is tolerance from both sides. I mean, to, to last uh, marriage, uh, you have to cooperate from both sides. Uh, everybody uh, must respect their, each, each other and each other's feelings and each other's needs. And so with that, I think we can, one can uh, last the marriage longer and uh, happier. In America, Botox cosmetic surgery are used to look younger and healthier. How can Americans shift their focus on using their physical body on less superficial activities and more spiritual ones? Uh, I don't know much about them, but uh, I think there's no point because you can't keep young forever. <laughs> Isn't it? And you can, cannot live forever. So. And so when you're born and you're young and to age, it's, it's natural, it's part of life. So instead of uh, doing this kind of superficial uh, things, I think it is better to face when it comes, uh, the time, then we have to face the, the natural situation and uh, do in according to the, to the time and uh, uh, needs. My sixth question, what's your advice to living a healthier life, including vegetarianism, exercise, and meditation? I think the most important thing <coughs> is that mind have to be free. Mind have to be free from the worries and tensions, because when your mind is disturbed, then it also affects the body. So the, to make the mind happier, that uh, one must uh, uh, look over from overall situation, that there's nothing, uh, no point in worrying if it is something that we can, cannot prevent. And if it is something that we can do, there's no need to worry. So the worrying only makes things more worse, uh, and it has very negative effects to, to oneself as well as the, the others. So therefore, we must not do this and try to, but to, it is not easy. But with the teachings, with the logical reasons given by the teaching, in the teachings, uh, I think we can uh, certainly improve. Okay, my next question. Um, how can we do a better job taking care of disabled people and old people? Mm, again, you see, the, although I mean their physical needs, their comfort, uh, etc., of course, very important. But the most important thing is the love 
from the heart, depth of one's heart, love and care. Even you just touching their bodies with the love, and just touching because because you need to, uh, you are told to do so. It makes a lot of difference. If you if it comes from the depth of one's own heart, it definitely has a great effect. Okay, question eight. Do you have any American heroes? Yes, uh, I think that a great American, uh, like President uh, Abraham Lincoln. Why do you like Abraham Lincoln? Because he, uh, he helped the people. He liberated the, the slaves, isn't it? Actually, I don't know much about the history of America, but, huh? Yes. And so I thought this is a very great thing that he did. Okay. My ninth question. How do you feel about President Obama? How do you feel he's done, especially on the issues of multiple wars that America has been involved in? I don't know much about but uh, many people told me that he's a very good person. And uh, uh, I always thought that, uh, I also think that it's a good because uh, when he is a, has a black person to be a president in a white country, in a kind of a white society, I thought we, all, we call him the black man in White House. <laughs> that is a, is a very good thing because it makes the balance. balance. Mm -hmm. And I, many of my American friends told me that uh, ever since that he been president, that. Uh, uh, the racial kind of uh, mm, uh, unbalance got much better. And with other things also, we hope that he will do uh, good jobs. Very nice. Uh, my last question, how can we balance materialism and spirituality in America? Yes, this is very important because uh, everyone is actually longing for the happiness whether you are a believer or non-believer, whatever religion, whatever uh, race, or the whatever mm, situation. So, uh, and it is quite clear that just outer material progress alone could not accomplish the peace and the happiness that we are seeking for. And so it has to be balanced with the inner spiritual development. And with the two together, I think we can certainly make this world more peaceful, more harmonious, and more happier. Thank you very much for your time, and bless you and live a long life, Your Holiness. Do you have anything else that you'd like to share with America? Thank you. Uh, yeah, I, I think America is a great country because here uh, so many different kinds of people so many different religions, so many different cultures, all live together very peacefully and harmoniously. Uh, and I think this is a very great country. And uh, America will continue to uh, guide the freedom and uh, 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 democracy uh, throughout the world. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank you.